Let's talk about graphing lines, pages 10 through 14 on page 1093 in uh, the ACE math. I have a uh, graph here showing again the x-axis and the y-axis and in the previous section you were graphing points coming up with the uh, coordinates also called relations. I have an equation here with two variables x and y and I'm being asked to graph this on the on the line. Uh, this one actually is very similar to one on page 13 if you want to follow along. The first thing we need to do in order to graph this is solve for y. Okay, So I want to get it in this form, y equals mx plus b. So I want the x on the right, y by itself, nothing in front of it, no, uh, no fraction, decimal, number, nothing, just plain old y. m, and then a, a value here, a fraction or a number, sometimes it's zero, okay? So the easy thing here to do would be to subtract 2x from both sides. So y equals negative 2x plus 5. Now we're going to plug in some points here. <clears throat> and you can put in as many as you want. I recommend at least 3, preferably 4, even 5 if you can. Okay? It's always a good idea to plug in 0. I like to do 1 and negative 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in another one, too. Okay, so I've got four values for x. Now I'm going to take the first value for x, plug it in here, and solve. So what I have here is negative 2 times 0 plus 5. Can you do that in your head? Negative 2 times 0. Ooh, that's the hard part, right? Plus 5. Okay, so we get 5. What if I plug in 1? What's negative 2 times 1? You do this, the multiplication first. So we get negative 2 plus 5, 3. If I plug in negative 1, now that gives me positive 2. Positive 2 plus 5 would be 7. And then let's do one more. I'm going to plug in 2. I'm going to plug in 2 for x here. I get negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5. 5 is 1. Okay? Now, all of these represent points. Okay? So like 0, 5, 1, 3, etc. So if I come over here to the graph and find these, so again, we crawl first and then we stand up. So 1, 5, 0, 5 would be here. 1, 3 would be here. Negative 1, 7 would be way up here somewhere. And then 2, 1 would be right here. Okay? <clears throat> so we have, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to ignore that one since it's way off the graph and just connect these. Okay? And then it's a good idea to go to the end of the graph and then put an arrow on both ends. I should have used a ruler to do that. Okay? Do that in your homework. Make sure you use a ruler a straight edge to connect your dots. If you do three or four of these and one of them is like way off and it's not lined up, you did something wrong, okay? <laughs> the one that's not lined up is probably the one that's wrong. So go back and check your math again and see if you made a mistake. Um, it's, they always, if you're done correctly, they always will be lined up no matter what number I plug in. I'm looking down here and I see 3. I could have plugged in 3, which would have given me negative 6 plus 5 is 1. Uh, negative 1. Okay, so that actually, and again, I, this is not drawn to scale as you can see. But on your graph paper, they will work out perfectly. All right. You should be able to do the rest of the problems on uh, all the way up through page 14. And uh, like on page 14, you do have to move the x to the other side first. And make sure you plug in some positive and negative numbers for x, solve for y. And then score everything, and I think you'll be ready to do well on your checkup.